passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Yeah. For, for the year and be able to rod and reel and, you know, any any kind of equipment you wanted to bring, tackle, lures, you you, you just can save the $37, but you're regulated to just a cane pole. And, like, like what can you really catch on a cane pole? I mean, if you got, like, a a big bass on it, he'd break that pole. Would, I mean, would they not? Can, I mean, can you catch a real aggressive, hard fighting bass on a cane pole? On uh, a regular cane pole? No. No. What about up for the snatch me a marlin with a cane pole? No, oh, you're, not gonna snatch, you're not going to snatch. You're not going to snatch the marlin. The marlin's going to rip that paint cane pole. Paint that. Oh, mar- I'll jump on the marlin. Oh, there you go. Now you know. So, yeah. I mean, so, you saw my first. You saw my first uh, fence suggestion, Correct. right? So today's bait we are using is uh, a ball of cheese here. And, uh, I'm going to get it out a little bit further this time. Yeah, because I was going to say there, there's a lot of small ones at the at – the, uh... So let me again. <laughs> what like, a duo. Like, like we do a fence <laughs> from here yep. to here. Okay. Yeah, like like these two dudes. I mean, like, <laughs> like I, the I saw them, Bubba, as I was leaving yesterday, and I just was like, look at these. Like they weren't filming. I was like, look at these All two right, guys. All right, there's Cuddle with the cast. Did you just tell him, call him Cuddle? Yeah. Let me, let me will, heavy will, tongue. Let me heavy will, tongue. Will you be honest? Yes. Were you a little bit? I mean, were you a little bit drunk? No. Let me. You know, I don't have a problem. I know, with but you I, being I, drunk. I, how many times have I been honest? I wasn't. Yeah, no, you know, I didn't want to drink. I didn't you want to drink in front of never, Tuttle. You're never honest. You never. You what are you talking about? Honest. I say I'm always drunk. No, uh, I mean, like, I, like I didn't like want to drink in front of Tuttle. He got Tuttle. Oh, that's right, the sober gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody knows you're drinking when you put it. You you don't ever drink. You always drink with the Gatorade thing. That's, I didn't have the Gatorade thing. I'm just saying. So when when an alcoholic looks at your Gatorade bottle, they don't look think of anything other than Gatorade. But I, that's why I didn't have a Gatorade. And and Tuttle the Tuttle uh, asked me a couple times for uh, take a sip. Oh. <laughs> Oh. He wanted a sip of your Gatorade. Well, next no, time, I didn't have the Gatorade. Next time, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. me, the next time you do anything with Tuttle, I'd like for you to be fully Gatorated. Okay. And then bring him some Altera.
Welcome to the weekly wrap-up show. Myself, obviously there's Colton, Rhett, <laughs> and our guest, Blossy the One Man Posse. Oh yeah. I see we're already getting heat in chat. For, For what? what? For being late? Yeah. Well? It takes time, fellas. Listen, Blossy the One Man Posse rolls in here. He has a lot of things that he needs set up. Oh, another mic. That's right. That's oh, right. He's got all his merchandise. He has to take it out to the car. Unbelievable. I needed like a cart is what I needed. You got a good haul? I did. I got a great haul. Nice. Great haul. But well, welcome. Welcome, Blossy. Welcome, Brad. Welcome, Thanks everybody. Sorry that we are a little late. Uh, actually, one person that was uh, kind of kind of letting it, letting it fly on complaining is... The third part of the tidbits, <laughs> Jr. the handler. What was he saying? He's like, oh, is this the norm? I'm about to watch this show. Are they ever going to start or is this the norm? And <laughs> I mean, he's got a point, dude. The handler's on a schedule, you know? He's, he's, got, he's got some handling to do, I'm sure, after this. Oh, it took, uh, you know, the show. What time did the show end today? Like 9.59? Mike Thurman, 1999 Super Chat. Thank you. 10.04. 1004 show ended? Yes. Okay, well, that takes time. Bubba has got to change his mic. Uh, Rhett's got to get his mic. He's got to get the other show down. we got to upload the other show. Macho's doing his whole thing. Like I said, Blossie was taking his care package uh, everywhere. Oh, thank you for the sausage, too, Blossie. Oh, absolutely. You guys will enjoy that Alabama sausage. Now... That's, Speaking of sausage, you know I might have just saw Blossy's sausage. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, uh, I think the thousand people watching on YouTube and fifteen hundred on Rumble and all the other people <laughs> saw it too. Jesus Christ! Yeah, man, man. is up there telling me you need to scoot up. I'm like, I can't. The mic will not move. She's like, look at yourself. Well, I didn't notice. I mean, he had been in here for fifteen, twenty minutes sitting down, and I look up at the camera because there's a big display monitor over my head usually. <laughs> And I swear to God, one of them almost popped out. <laughs> I apologize for that action. Then, I, think he, I think he did it on purpose, I think. I think, think. so, think so cuz then in between break I go to the bathroom and he's already in there and I swear this motherfucker's keeping his head out of the water and they're fluffing. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Damn, dude. And I mean, he he left the door unlocked and uh Cole and the uh, the meat gazer cuz he comes he comes back in here. Listen, and he's we're like, not Holy don't go there with this. <laughs> John <laughs> Co. Stika, fifty dollars. Beat gazing uh, is a bad topic yeah. this week. Okay, very sir? slippery slope, Flummy. You and I both know. You know you're going down. Yeah, help. take your time. I up don't there. know what you're talking about. All I know is that Colton went in there. He stood there for a minute. Said, "Oh, let me turn the light on for you. <laughs> Get a better view." Light, and then shut the door. I will say, whoever the, the, you know, it, it was really was weird not... when he shut the door and he was in there with me. Exactly. That, that kind of weird, you know? <laughs> it is weird. Whoever designed that bathroom, though, it, we can tell was not Bub Army proud because the light switch is in the wrong location. I'm, I'm I am confused on why the light switch is on the outside. Of outside that on the on the back side of the trim, it's yeah, it's in the wrong spot. He was in there using his little flashlight. Yeah, I had, I had to use my phone light. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. I think I might be the only person that ever showers in that shower, too. No, I've showered in there. Have you? Yeah, he showered back in the day when I was uh, living in my office. Bubba was nice enough to let me shower in there. And I did. And then uh, after we moved the gym when I almost died, Fish on J, $20 super chat, I had to uh, go in the shower. I did it when out. I was uh, head of BRN Lawn Crew. Hierarchy $6,500. Uh, Colton loves meat. Is that what he said? Hey, Colton loves the meat. And uh, are, are you getting some sausage, Nobody else? Cohen? I, um, you know, nope. I, I'm not on the list, but I am going to finagle my way to get one. It's good sausage. Yeah, it's really good sausage. Where'd you get that around here? Because that's kind I of did a... not get that around here. I got that before I left up uh, oh, okay. up in the Panhandle. You know, so yeah, that's that's based out of Evergreen, Alabama. It really is the best sausage, like pound for pound, on earth. That baby link sausage, you just throw it on the grill, 
man, you can like throw it on a piece of light bread with some mustard or get you like a little syrup and mustard on the side and, and man, kind of get that little action going. Dude, it is so hard to beat. I think I was right on the date, too. I think they have been smoking since like 1943. Oh, yeah. They've they've been around for a long time. Uh, so you got Koneka sausage, which is an evergreen. You got Kelly sausage, which is an Elba. And Kelly's actually started making sausage for Koneka to begin with. So their sausages are really similar sausages, you know, so... Just some good fine Alabama sausage. You know, the, third, the fat pig said it is the best sausage, but we've had a very, very busy uh, week. I know. Uh, Feels like a very busy month. It is. I mean, we got a huge, I mean, last weekend, unfortunately, the rain out at uh, Colton's favorite barbershop. Oh, dude, and I had that bitch, I had the road blocked. Yes, you did. It was official. It was official. I had that motherfucker looking good. Man, Rhett was in his old command center. Yeah, yeah command, command had uh, his had his center looking good. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, that's why I'm so disappointed is because we were. I shit you not. We were one click away from going live. We had the transmitter working and the mobile cam that we had brought. Our setup was looking fantastic. Our giant 55 inch display monitor. Um, again, it was a command center. We had the the speaker. The uh, I think it was the Bose speaker. The bar sound bar playing music. We had all of the routers couple more transmitters for the camera, the uh, the laptop setup. Macho Man had his own setup as well. We were ready to go, and it just fucking came out of nowhere. I mean, it didn't because it was dark, but, you know, I, I thought we could survive it, and then as soon as we started getting flooded out from the bottom the way that we did, we just... As soon as merchandise goes flowing down the road like this, yeah, it, yeah it's 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 over. Yeah, I mean, the cash wow. was up, and I mean, we didn't want to disconnect it. I thought it was just going to be a little sprinkle. Everything was covered. We were just going to blow it right back up. And then I remember, I think it was Tease or Susan Poitras said, Lummy, you got to empty the tent out because she couldn't reach it. She was trying her and little Bob Cook couldn't uh, couldn't put the water out. And then when I started dumping the water over it and then it started getting close to the electronics, I'm like, this is not a good sign. It, it, this is screwed. But we fought through it. Now, Colton, you took the signs home with you, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe you can uh, use it for the next one we do. Of course. You know, I got all types of shit. I got road clothes, I got detours, I got stop signs with bullet holes in them. We're good. But, I mean, this one we're not going to need the, uh, the the road signs. We're going to a, we're gonna go to the stadium, which I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be a really good time. I think this is going to be the biggest crowd we've had at the baseball game. Well, yeah. What? Nothing. What are you going to say? Are you talking about the cash cube? Oh. I was saying the cash cube... Next time that's out and about, we have a built-in audience compared to at Latin Sons, we were building our audience. You know, we're like we're, we're letting the community know we're going to be here. If we're bringing the cash cube to Morgan Wallen, correct? Yes, we are. Yeah. That's a built-in audience. You got to think all the people that are already going there unrelated to us. You think if, like, uh, we had, like, interns or anything like that, you think it would be a good idea to do the cash cube at the, uh, the Yankees game or the uh, Tarpons game? Tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, no. down the line. Do you think that it would be a cool little thing if we just had it sitting outside our little spot for Bubba Army people to jump in it? I mean, you want to know the problem with that? What? It takes away from the game. Yeah, <clears throat> and it takes away from everything else that's that's there with it compared to when you're doing the Morgan Wallen concert, people are funneling in. That's kind of your time. The Tampa Tarpons game, as we all know, it's not, you know, um, completely slammed. So your funnel in time is like, what, three, four, five minutes to get from the parking lot into the gate? Yeah. I, I did talk to Bubba last weekend, though, on the way to Latin Sons, and, and I do think that maybe some of these pop-up promotion events could be really good for us, just essentially doing guerrilla marketing. That's true. Uh, we don't necessarily have to bring the cash cube to every single one of them, especially if it's a one- or two-man setup. But it's really not shit to set up a tent, stand there with a couple of prizes and a spin wheel for two or three hours, especially if we can get approval to do it. We can do it outside of concerts, lightning games, uh, wherever we can get approved really is is the uh, the big obstacle. Well, I wonder what the rule is on, like, let's say the Rays game, you know, the, the big parking lot, if we put up a tent and just have right. the prize wheel, we could just do that without even asking them. That's the thing is that some of these, like, especially the sport teams, you know, Bucks games, you got to be approved. Lightning games, you 100%, I'm sure, have to be an approved vendor. I have to imagine Rays games are the same way, but they've also got, like, a little bit of walking around area independent of the stadium. Correct. You know, right outside the parking lot. So I, I guess it ultimately depends, but I, I definitely think we could get a, a lot of yeses. And um, at the end of the day, it's just another excuse for Bubba Army people to come hang out, show up, and, and support the show. Now, have you guys done any research on heckling? 
Or are you guys going to be heckling, or are you guys going to be uh, too high in the sky? Too high in the sky. Yeah, I'm going to be working. i got to film. Now, Bossy, you don't seem like a mean guy, so I don't see you heckling. No, I'll just uh, laugh at the hecklers, you know? like Just like last year when Bubba was heckling, you know, the guy that said like had sex with Kenny Powers or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 His, mom, his mom had sex with Kenny yeah. Powers. Yeah, and then the dude it. blew it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. He, he lost in the he game. He blew the game. Absolutely. Could not could not find a strike zone. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't see you, you know, talking. talking it is funny as shit, though, to see there. there and see Bubba heckling everybody, and you're just kind of hanging out on the wall trying to get your vape pen in or something like that, you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's that's, funny. Yeah, or hiding from security. Yeah, um, stuff like that. I know Big Buck, he's on his way down. He's been doing some research on it, I believe, Creates and Travis, which, Rhett, uh, can you look at the Venmo? Because I think Creates and Travis, he said he, he got kind of offended. I didn't call it his uh, Venmo. He so you said he that, sent one in at like 9.59 and got mad that I didn't call it out. And you said that uh, Big Buck's on their way down. Obviously, we know Bossy Lundman Posse's down. Is everybody coming down tomorrow or are most people coming down today? Big Buck will be here tonight, but he was doing What's research going on, on tonight heckling. then? I don't know. Nothing? No Bubba Army meetup? Call 813-90-BUBBA, 813-90-BUBBA if you're going to come down and want to party with uh, Blossy the One Man Posse and Colton. 200 smackaroos on the Venmo Boom. from Creatine, from Creatine Travis. Travis, the Hall of Famer. Now, Will he be there tomorrow? Yeah. Will his I, wife be there tomorrow? No. I think no. I think he's been doing research with Big Buck, and now um, Ashley has actually gotten involved, and she's trying to do some deep diving on these, these players. So I guess she's going to... Probably give Bubba like a whole spreadsheet on some of these guys. That's what I was thinking. She's gonna have a whole spreadsheet for him. She's gonna dig in deep on their family. She wants like the dirty shit. Oh, like like if, really if dirty mom, shit. Your mom had, had an abortion back in eighty three. Yeah. Like shit like that. Or your mom, your mom had an affair with fucking you know this guy or this guy, and then you know if you ever shit your pants and all this random oh, wow. shit. So wow. yeah, she's gonna go. She's gonna go deep into it. She uh, she comes out to the wrestling events and she loves talking shit to all the wrestlers. Really? She came up with uh, Turtle Dick. And who was that? He was a manager for this other guy, and he was wearing a turtleneck. So she started calling him Turtle Dick, and then the whole crowd started calling him Turtle Dick. And he's, he got all like he got all upset. So she loves heckling people, which I'm perfectly fine with. It You're means, not a heckler. Fuck no. I don't even so, talk. More of the reason that her and Bubba connect. Exactly. <laughs> they both like to fucking heckle. Oh, and it looks like uh, the wrestler that I... I, I um, Manage, I guess you could say. Danny Briggs is coming. The great Danny He's going to be at the game tomorrow? Yes, he is. Oh, that's that's awesome. awesome. He's coming with his uh, girlfriend, who is a referee. Are you guys on the air? If so, where? Bob is asking if we're on the air. Oh, boy. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I believe we're on the air. Bubba I mean, might be doing a run-in. See, Colin, you oh. you have fucking <laughs> said something about this for the longest time. I think you and Blasi both know what is going on. I'm telling you right now, we know nothing. No, I don't. I don't know a thing. Isn't he supposed to be sitting in his chair for about forty-five minutes? Yeah, that, that's that's what I was told. We were kind of told to fuck off and leave him alone because he's going to be in his chair. And I, I don't mean to be. Uh, what did he say? Inhospitable, un, inhospitality, yeah, his, his, his hospitality. Yeah, that is correct. Huh? Yeah, he's one of those big, one of those big words. Yep. But I mean, he was he did hook up uh, Blossy. I believe you got some Bubba Army. I did, <sighs> man. Got all kind of good gear. Now I, I didn't know how to get up to my car because you guys were all gone. <laughs> and Amanda's standing out there like, what do we do? And I know he's up front. He told me not to bother him. How do I get out of this place? And so I go out the side door. Yep. And then blah, 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 we got the dogs, you know. Uh-huh. Oh, man, I'm causing all kind of problems. Speaking of that here. dog, Tuttle got nipped at this week. Ooh, I heard that. I heard Bubba bring that up this week. Uh, yes, he did, which we were going to get into. But I just want to bring up, because I think this is a person driving down. 843? Hey, guys. 843? How are you doing this fine, glorious day? Phone's not working. Can you hear me? Awesome. No, I think that was Big Buck or Big E because they both are coming down. But, yeah, Bubba brought it up, which I didn't even think he was going to bring it up, but uh, Tuttle went up to Merchandise Land to grab a, a shirt for himself. Um, Bubba told me to come up here and get me a collar shirt. He probably was talking to Bella. Uh, Bella freaked out and I guess uh, gave him a little nip, and then I remember Tuttle, Tuttle runs down and he's like, I just got, I just got, I got bit, I got bit. And I didn't believe it. Bella's the sweetest dog. And, uh, I, I mean, a lot of people said it's because of Tuttle's haircut. It is kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? White supremacist? I remember you didn't tell him. <laughs> yeah, why, did, why didn't you tell him that, Colin? How come you, you didn't tell him? You were pumping him up the whole video. No, no, I mean, no, no. I know no, you no. don't want to make your barber look bad, but 
I mean, I don't think he's well. No, the barber, I don't think he's bringing in new clients. The barber soon. is just doing off of what Tuttle asked. Oh, so Tuttle wanted that. So. Tuttle came in with the photo of the guy from the Peaky Binders deal, whatever the fuck it's called. Hitler, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> and and says this is what I want to look like. <laughs> and to the barber's credit, he succeeded. He did. Oh. I think he did say he was going for that '30s style look, which. I don't know if you know this. Just because it was cool in the '30s doesn't make it cool now. I mean, like you look at a Hitler stash. I mean, shit's coming back, bro. I was watching Schindler's List or something. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, but Colton, at the end of the day, what did you really want to say about Tuttle's haircut? Um, I mean, I'm polite, as we know that. So, uh, <laughs> it, it looked better before. So when he showed you the picture, though, you did. Oh, I said, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what great friends do. <laughs> Fucking my hair looks good. I don't give a damn. <laughs> that, I mean, that is true. And, I, and like I said, I don't think your barber's looking for any new clients. No. I, I mean, he's pretty much a one-man crew, right? Yeah, he's got enough going on. That's your guy that cuts you every time? Yep. Same guy. Go down to the hood, get my hair cut, $5. So smoke want- a blunt while I'm getting a haircut, $5 tip. Wow. And that's it. That's one, of those, one of those trench barbers, they call them, right there in the kitchen. That's yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, there. Now, did you see where we were? His dog's name is Fody. Yeah. We were talking about the, Frenchy. your old guy that you used to go to that used to sell drugs out the back. Yeah, he was running a trap house and a barbershop at the same time. Man, who's not doing that shit nowadays? A lot of the barbers are trapping. Yeah, come on. In this economy? Yeah, you got to have multiple jobs. I mean, look at us. We're moving and shaking at all times, right? No, you are always moving and shaking, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> now, I see, I don't think up in uh, in Blossie's territory that the barbers are working out of their house and, <laughs> and doing trap trap games. No, nah, man. Blossie, but- where do you get your hair cut? Fantastic Man, I, Sam's. Honestly, I go to kind of wherever. Because I, I do that. It's so simple. I do like one and a half on the back, scissor cut it on the top, I, and I don't care, dude. I just kind of move on down the road. So it's wherever I am. Now, there's a cool barber shop in Mobile when I get over there. I really like to go there, get the full experience well, there. Mobile you know? is a little bit more like St. Pete. By it the way, it looks like, it Bub, sorry to interrupt, I think Bubba's in the chat, and he mentioned, uh, I'm so glad Bu- Bella bit him. I'm so glad Bella bit him. Oh, that's right. If you <laughs> she remember. was by herself and Tuttle rolled up. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then yeah, that makes sense. If you do remember, Bubba, Bubba's happy because if you know Bella's there and someone tries to break in, at least Bella will attack. I always thought Bella was just gonna lick, you know, lick someone's face or be nice, but yeah, I, 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 I'd be lying if I said I haven't doubted her killer instinct before. You know she's what got I mean? a mean because bark. She's such, she does have a very mean bark, but she's such a sweet girl. I mean, she's never even nipped at me. She's been, you know, some of those dogs. I look at them and it's like I swear there's not a harmful bone in their body, but she, uh. She doesn't like Tuttle. Brian, Brian from Philly, ten dollars. So sorry. No, we're good. We're on each other. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Bossy gets his hair cut just wherever, and he says it's a nice barber shop in Mobile. Um, Rhett, where'd you get your hair cut at? Uh, I've been getting my hair cut by my buddy Abel, who's been cutting is my it a hair. Kitchen? Is it a kitchen barber? No. Oh. He used to be. He used to be. He upgraded. Um, yeah. He's at a shop now in Brandon called Sixth Element off of Sixty. Is he just cutting hair? Is he doing anything on the side? No, dude. He's day trader. 4X. Got another job. Yeah. Every NASDAQ barber's got another job. On the NAS 4. He's taking fucking trips. So it's hard for me to get a haircut sometimes because he'll be in Europe. He'll be in Italy. He'll be in Spain. Wow. Um, now, would you he'll go, be in Miami. But now, yeah, he's been cutting my hair since I was 15. Now, and, would you uh, go to Operation Pigmentation, the Latin Sons? You know, I as much as I would love to and as much as I do trust those guys to do the same job, it, I, I would catch a lot of shit from Abel. Because you can't cheat on your barber. Correct. You got to stay loyal. If it's your boy, I mean, it, like I said, I've known him for ten years, so it it's it's, it's hard to do that. But the only reason that you haven't uh, gone to Operation Pigmentation Latin Sons, uh, Colton, is because you need a shower right after. I mean, that's one of the reasons. Yeah, and yeah. like Rhett said, you got to be loyal. You got to be more loyal than your barber than your girlfriend. It's just those are the that's just what it is. Yeah. It's like one of those unwritten man codes. Yeah, it's a man law. It's a man law. What the fuck is going what is on? The cash cube? Oh, the cash, cash cube going, going up. up on the stage. Oh, I was like, what? I, I thought the uh, board was like blown no, up. No, Macho's yeah. back there putting the cash cube together, I guess, checking all that out. What's <laughs> the deal with that? So the update that we got from Bubba was that it inflates, but it looks like it's inflating now. The fan that's good. Is good, yes. Um, but he said something about the internal fans. That's what, no, that's what, that's what uh, yeah, Macho so was fixing. So that 100% is fixed now. You've okay. got those two big green fans that plug in from the outside. And then on the inside, I believe on the inside of the cube... Are these? They almost look like little computer power sources, uh, but they're just little fans, box fans. Now, Blossy, I think Macho you, Macho either o- either overclocked them or got them back. I mean, maybe Bubba to the same okay power they were at before, but he fucking he fixed it like he does all things. Blossy, you want to get in the cash cube? I think I got like twenty <laughs> bucks of ones in my truck. If you, you gotta want. take your shoes off, <laughs> yeah, I gotta take your shoes take off. Your sho- sure, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, we go we gotta, obviously got to check that with Bubba, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, if you're being for real, dude, I'll take second on that. You got <laughs> 20 bucks for giving out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen. In fact, you owe me five bucks. I know I owe you five bucks. Oh, Freaky okay. Q Friday. So, so, so sorry, uh, Blossy. There's only gonna be fifteen dollars in singles. Because <laughs> those five dollars will be going. Let me right think about to... any other money you owe me. Is there any other money you owe me? <laughs> no, I don't owe you any other money. You. Uh, you are you are you are you, you write down all your money. So you gonna call him a slur? No cash cube. So no cash cube. Just uh, Macho's blowing it up. So, but we were just kidding. We weren't gonna get in the cash cube. That was a hundred percent a joke. Not at all. All right. So I'm sorry. Now I already had that fifteen dollars spent. I, did you? <laughs> yeah. Are you doing any? Are you going to any uh, breweries or anything like that, Blossy? I know well, you're a big brewery guy. Man, I, yeah, I do, I, do, I do like a good brewery. So I really don't have plans after today. It was kind of getting here, get here last night. We hung out there at the rooftop bar at the the current. Had some buddies. Actually, Jr.'s brother James came over and, and hung out with us. Had a little too many, uh, one too many martinis. Uh, so, yeah, dude, I'm just kind of just rolling with the flow and just kind of seeing what's going next. So, nothing, nothing dialed in other than this game tomorrow night. Now, uh, is there anything that uh, I guess your fiance Blossy is going to want to do while she's in Tampa? Well, I don't know. She she hadn't said anything. I know she's going to shop at some point. That always. I mean, gets I can in, step off here if you guys want to put her on for a second. No, she said she, I, what? She doesn't want on. Okay. And Bubba, <laughs> said, Bubba said, "Bubba said, Blasi's girl is straight fire." And yes, she will be at the game. Uh, game tomorrow. Absolutely, looking she will forward be. to yeah. uh, to getting there. Now with the Tuttle, well, obviously with the haircut, do, uh, obviously he must be getting some feedback that everyone is kind of making fun of his. Uh, I think it's like 50-50, To be honest with you, yeah. I don't know if the fifty percent is being nice, but he's getting fifty percent. They like it. It looks good. Um, and 50%, like, you know, you look like Hitler, white supremacist, blah, 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 blah. Now, he's coming tomorrow to the game. Yeah, he'll be here. We got, um, oh, we'll be cool. there. Is there any plans of him rolling tape when he gets here? Um, no plans, like, no hard plans. I'm sure he'll be rolling a little bit of tape, but, like, no, we're not filming the whole thing. Well, I, well, I didn't know if you were going to be doing your normal little, uh, get all your chores that you usually have uh, Tuttle follow you around with. Um, no, I don't think we got much to do. I'm sure something will come up, but you think Tuttle's gonna get that bingo footage? No, I think didn't he return the machine? No, are you sure? Uh, well, Bubba just asked, do you think Tuttle will get the bingo footage? Uh oh, he didn't return the machine. No, if he did, Macho, did you see the bingo machine? No, no, he he didn't bring it in. My other question is, was before he supposed Tuttle to bring the bingo machine? Well, I mean, yeah, I think so, and the week before. He was supposed to be here. I asked him to text Bubba to, to give Bubba the update. I don't think he did that either. And that's why he had some heat. I don't know, dude. Honestly, mm. I don't know. Well, we did film the fishing video. Tuttle did uh, get a couple hooks swallowed by the fish. No return on machine. Yeah, Bubba said no return on machine. Tuttle told me he was returning the machine. So, you see the catch-22 I'm in? Yeah, hold on. Okay, there we go. Macho, yeah. Macho, macho thank you. Macho fixed the phone line. So, 843 <laughs> if you want to call back. Uh, you can call back. Is that just macho making macho noises on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he normally does. And unfortunately, macho is going to be there, not going to be there at the baseball game because I think a lot of people want to meet macho. I think a lot of people don't believe how big macho is because I do get some emails and messages asking, "Is macho really that big? Yeah, does he macho is. look like macho?" Yeah, yes. well, he doesn't want to meet them. <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell. Maybe baseball is just not his normal thing. No, he's just shy. I definitely don't take him as a baseball fan, but I mean, he's just a naturally, I don't know. He likes being in the dark. He Macho gets mad at me, sports, mad at me when I turn no. the lights on in there. Macho's not sport guy at all. I think he said no. he played baseball one time and he got hit in the face by a baseball. Yeah. I mean, like Mr. Universe and all that shit. He, he, you want, you might man. want to make sure and when you talk to your sidekick, your assistant, that uh, Tuttle told Bubba that he was going to get footage and call out uh, just by calling out the Oh, numbers. great. Well, then, yeah, if Tuttle told Bubba that, then that's what it is. Now, Seth, Seth's throwing out the first pitch. Now, I mean, we all love Seth, obviously. How do you think he's going to do? You think he's going to just sling it right in there? Or you think the pressure's going to get to him? He's going to lob it in. Just kind of lob it in? Yep. Right It'll make it? it across the plate, in the glove, no bounce, but it's going to be a lob. Now, how do you think you would do, Colton, on throwing it in? Uh, a little bit better than a lob, but not quite, you know, any heat. So you could just you, you think you go out there right there and just sling it right in the right in the glove? I think it would be better than a lob, <laughs> but not quite <laughs> not all the heat. Not quite the heat. <laughs> now, do, how high do you think he's going to be, just to calm the nerves? Well, there, see, Lummy, well, mean, you're not a smoker. There's I'm no not really a like, smoker. There's no, no like I, level of high. Like you're either high or not. Right. You're not going out there delirious. And I and I think Seth has the benefit of chucking on his pen all day. 
And as someone who's been doing that this morning, like, I'm good. I'm right where I need to be. If I have to chuck it again, I can. But I'm not really going to get any higher, if that makes sense. I like, gotcha. Well, not really, because I'm not a, I'm not a weed guy. Well, you kind of build up a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A tolerance to it. Oh, okay. You know, so I think he'll be, he'll be nice and level. I don't think he's going to let himself get too out of shape. I am nervous, though, if he steps on the chalk. Now, he did oh. say, what are they going to do to him? Do you You're, think he does it on purpose? I just don't think he took Bubba serious when Bubba said that. I think Bubba would kick his ass if he stepped on the chalk. Hmm. Yeah, he better not step on the chalk. I'm telling you. They oh, might not invite us back. Brett, how would you do uh, throwing out the first pitch? I, I think it would be better than a lob, but <laughs> so I you don't guys quite all, think it would be a heater. You guys all take it up bus here. Okay, mean, here you go. I think I'd do better than Bubba. I think I would do better than Seth. I think, um, wow. Uh, I'm just, well, Bubba bounced it. <gasps> Sorry. You just said it, real. I didn't. You don't apologize. Okay. Bubba Bubba sorry, but it, 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 so it, it I put myself the catcher, catcher him. It went into the catcher's glove. If, if uh, off, off the bounce, off the short hop, that's fine, though. Um, I think I would do better than Macho because Macho doesn't know sports. Um, Lummy, I don't know your form. I think uh, I think you're probably better than me. And I would say Rhett and I are about even. I'd say Lummy's probably top And I would say Blossy's probably a little better than all of us. He's probably even with you, Lum. I'd say Lummy's top of the list just because, I mean, did you see the, the film from the batting cage that one day? With yes, all of us, the yes. whole show. I wish I could have joined that, but yes. I mean, and and I, I think Blossy knows it because Blossy was in here giving Seth pointers uh, in between shows, talking about make sure you know you have your shoulders facing forward, make sure your foot. The uh, the main thing was the foot. Make sure your foot lands straight on the plate. Blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Well, so, you know, I mean, the thing is, I've got I've got an eleven year old and a twelve year old, and they've both been playing baseball, so I get out there with them all the time. I can throw better now. I have better form throwing and hitting now than I ever did when I used to play. Hmm. Just because I'm having to show them, right? So yeah, I mean, that's the best part. I mean, yeah. I, I think my form's getting worse uh, playing YouTube's with Walker. Yeah, yeah, I so. saw that video the other day. Yeah, I know it's just, it's getting horrible. He's... Walker looks like he's fucking sawing wood or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't listen. He, he likes he likes to swing high, doesn't he? He likes him above his head. It's okay. I did too. You know, when I played, I had the same thing. You know, I he like. Just he's anything. got you. He's got you coaching sloppy, Lummy. I, I think I don't I, know how you put up with that shit. I don't either. Well, I try not to, and then he gets mad at me. No, so. you know what Lummy does when he gets mad at him? Put your hand on that fucking stove. <laughs> 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 and then he gets his ass beat by You gonna fix your swing? Five six one. Good morning, everyone. How are you? How's it going? Good, good. This is Ringo Valentino, guys. Um, What's up, Ringo? So been to a lot of our tournaments events as well. It was me going to the uh, baseball game, but now I got my nephew and my great grand nephew. Right? Uh, oh, great. He's probably like six, but but uh, I don't know. I don't know how pricing is for him. Do, do we have to pay $48 for a, a, a child? How does that work? Yes. You know? uh, how old is he? You said? He's like maybe five, maybe six. Uh, yeah. I mean, right now with the, maybe for the next one, they're going to work on the kids seats, but uh, the kids ticket prices, but yeah, because you got to think it's a, uh, obviously the way it's set up, they, they don't have discounts for uh, kids because uh, obviously they can okay, eat all okay. the food they want and all the drinks they want. Um, you can buy a cheaper seat for the kid and just have them, but you just won't be able to participate in the all you can drink, all you can eat section. But you oh, can sit down yeah, and yeah, seat I, was, I, I had spoken to the uh, George, Star, George Steinbrenner field person too, as well for the Tarpons, and they said that it might be possible that I can get a general admission ticket for them, but they won't have the bracelet for you know the all you can eat stuff. Correct. Yeah, and I think but the ticket's like I was, six I bucks. Sure. I wasn't sure if you knew how Creatine Travis and anyone else that comes over with kids does it. Uh, yeah, uh, I think Big Red's buying a couple for his kids, and uh, the people he's bringing are just buying the cheaper tickets, and then they're just going to sit in the normal seats. I mean, they just won't be able to, like I said, participate in the, the club, but they, they can watch the game. So, Got you, got but, you, got you. Well, Ringo, I can't wait to see you there, buddy. Same thing here, man. I was noticing as uh, I was on hold how much uh, Colton's eyes flicker back and forth as she's talking. <laughs> Neil Malpazier, $50. I can't sit still. I'm always on the move thinking of my next stuff. <laughs> That's just how Yeah, it is. you got some moving eyes, man. <laughs> always. <laughs> well, thank you, Ringo. Well, thank you guys. We'll, and we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. I will see you. All right, man. Yes, for sure. How many people do you think you got going tomorrow? Do you have any idea at all? Uh, over 150. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, even though T-shirt Will fucking really pussied out there. What, I mean, what's, why are you calling out T-shirt Will? What do you mean? Because he, he he's doing his gender reveal party or whatever for his nephew did, uh, or son or something. Did you do a gender reveal party? His son. Yeah, here at the, at the studio. Party. At the studio. Well, was that it? Did you guys do a private one or just on no, air? No, it was on. It was on the air. 
Did you do Blossy the Robin Posse? Did you guys do gender reveals for your boys? I did not. Yeah, they see. It's not really a okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. They, why could they I mean like I Bubba knows they do it on Sunday. You know how old his kid is? How old? No, I was asking oh. mummy. Oh, I have no idea. It's just a thing the kids are into now. What I mean, I say kids, but it's just people love social media and they love making a big fucking production oh. out of it, you know. Hopefully he does a baseball themed one, so it's like the and ultimate kick in the nuts. And smack somebody in the face. <laughs> yeah, but the game's you know at six thirty. What time's his gender reveal? Don't you just pop the fucking balloon? You're it's a blue or red, and you're done or pink or whatever it is. Who even goes to him? Whatever. A family. A, well, yeah. But My good friends know not to invite me to any gender reveals. Don't invite me to weddings. Don't invite me to any of that. Anything that requires me to dress up, don't invite me. Yeah, if I'm you're a, my good friend, don't invite me to that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I'd love to skip most weddings yeah. and gender reveals and trivial shit. Baby showers. I don't need Fuck that. No. I don't, I don't need to be there. I don't do baby showers. I, I've never been to a gender reveal. And I never will go. Like why? That's I'll so watch stupid. the video on Facebook and I'll get the same satisfaction yeah. as I would have standing in the hot ass yard. Whoa, whoa. 94 degrees, cool. no Congratulations. shade. If it's his son, okay, I can under, I can understand going. But if it's at 12 o'clock, I mean, you go, you see the balloon pop, you see, you know, the color. Congratulations, here's a gift. <laughs> Into the truck and get down to the baseball game. Or just tell your kid, hey, do it Sunday. I mean, but I don't understand. I mean, what's, uh, was it two hours? I think from Citrus Park or Citrus, Not even. Where, wherever the Not hell is even. At. I mean, the Nashes are going to come. I think Captain Ron's come in. No, Citrus Park. Well, not Citrus Park. Citrus, Citrus County. Citrus County. Yes. Oh, I was going to say like, Citrus Park. Inverness, you jump all the veterans and you're there. Yeah. Same thing, though. From, from up there, same thing. Take the veterans down. They're, they're probably an hour and a half. They're not bad. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. He, he, I don't know. So 150 people. Anybody uh, out of the norm? 150 plus. Oh, shit. Like anybody that has not been to one no, yet. No, I have no fucking clue. They didn't check in with me, Colin. Tuttle. Tuttle's, Tuttle's been, been to the Home Plate Dugout yeah. Club. Listen, if it, it gets rained out, or should I not? Oh, sorry. Like I I mean, what the yeah, fuck? Don't speak in? that into existence. If it but rains, does the game? Why? Does baseball play in the rain? No, they, they can't. They used to, right? No, they can't. If there's no lightning. Oh, my bad. But it doesn't well, matter. We can, well, I mean, what we can't. Fucking jinx. Man. Will they keep the food and free food? Okay, let's just shoot to the fucking real point here. Will they keep the free food and free drinks going? I knew that's all you fucking cared about. Yes, they will. As long as if they check us in the the. Restaurant will be open. Even if it gets like, you know, um, delayed in like the first inning, they still keep it open. Do you remember the home play club? That was a different area. It's it's the same fucking thing. Okay. It's all the same stuff. They're gonna they're gonna wait as long as possible to get the game going. Well, you know the Bub Army has these same questions. They want to know oh, if yeah. they're spending their money if 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 the rain's gonna be rained out or well, if they're yeah, gonna get the food Yeah, but you're just drink. scaring now that like what about we could have had 175 now they're like, well, Colton said it might rain. Hey, here's so. the good news. It's yesterday it was eighty percent. Today it's fifty percent. See? We're oh, good. fine. We're thank fine, you. man. Thank We're you, absolutely it's trending in the right direction. Yeah, thank yeah. you for being a positive right <laughs> Absolutely. There. Unlike fucking Colton, who's uh, the biggest wedge, as Bubba says. Hey, I mean, he's not wrong about that. I mean, you were bitching to me yesterday about your six dollar fucking ticket. You didn't want to buy a six dollar <laughs> ticket if the you know if because you, you couldn't get enough people on the list, Lummy. Yeah, well, that's on you, Mister EP. I, I no, no, I'm you know, thankful he, for hey, the amount of tickets I got. Oh, okay, <laughs> I mean, you know, he rolls with a posse though at any given oh, time. He I'm could roll sorry. Up with, he could roll Cohen's up with eight people. Not, Cohen is not happy at the amount of tickets that I was able to I, get no, because that, Bubba. No, was, no, that's Bubba what I said. was nice enough to uh, to allow you. To be able to go and, and you didn't. I love a great deal just as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to crawl through a bed of hot coals or go out of my way just to save a few bucks. And if I am, man, it's got to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile says it's easy to get wireless for 15 bucks a month with the purchase of a three month plan, I'm going to call them out on it. Turns out. It's really that easy. It's that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. That's a nightmare. Wish everything was as easy as Mint. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk-to-text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your old phone number with you, along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer with your three-month premium wireless plan for only 15 bucks a month, you must go 
to mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. That's mintmobile.com forward slash B-U-B-B-A. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower on 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. You're bitching about having your friends get a $6 ticket or whatever they're going to do? <laughs> no, that's not. We're good. We're good. I told you I was grateful for the amount of free tickets I got. Um, yeah, I normally have a posse, but it's all good. And I'm, I'm grateful for what we got, though. They're going to get stuck in the Seth section. Yeah, which actually Seth uh, said he wants his own section and he wanted it uh, taped off. And I believe he hired Tuttle as his uh, security. His security. Well, now, do you think Seth actually does want that? Because I did tell them to have a section taped up, taped off for him. Or do you think he was just kind of uh, being Seth? A little bit of both. I think there was some truth to be told in that. Um, I, I can't believe that you're fucking... I can't believe you bitched the red about the tickets. I bitched whoever <laughs> want to listen. <laughs> I'm about to tell Bossy's wife here in a moment. <laughs> whoever I can tell, whoever wants to listen, I'll bitch to. Anybody and everybody. And, and Bubba, you know, Bubba bought three tickets for uh, Latin Sons. He bought three tickets from you know out of his own pocket. I'm going to be buying probably two or three as well. Bubba wasn't too worried about uh, the weather and everything, and Bubba went ahead and bought the tickets. And you're fucking well. Bubba's about not a wedge. <laughs> you, that's true. You are a fucking wedge. I mean, I just I can't believe that. You know, actually, I'm surprised you haven't texted T-shirt Will trying to see if you can get his tickets for a discount. Oh, he already bought them. Who? T-shirt Will already bought tickets, but yeah. won't make it. Well, yeah. then fuck yeah, send me T-shirt Will's number. Oh, you don't have it? I'm not sending that to you. I probably have it already. You probably already I got away. Don't I'll get in there. Don't worry. I'll be there. Whether I gotta scale the building in the back or something, I'll be in. <laughs> You're gonna get us kicked out. You, you, they're not gonna invite us back because of you. Like no. you had a guy there that says you're Brandon Bastard that's climbing up the backside of the building, smoking a joint while doing so. Yeah, with his gift his uh his business cards. Well my gift cards, I'm trying to sell them. Yeah, that's true too. I can see you doing that. Blossy, don't buy any of his gift cards. Thirty five bucks, get you forty dollar dinner. Yeah, it's a pretty damn good deal. Oh, you gotta take a call out deal, somewhere. Four one three. I'm a cold or red and still the supermarket. Hey, what's up, Joe? I have a question for Blossy the one man posse. Bring it on. Of all the personalities on the Bubba show, who do you identify with the most? Oh man, that's a that's a good question. Uh dude, honestly. I'll be dead honest with you, even it may, it may not appear this way. I identify with Bubba a lot, all right, because it's, uh, you know, there's there's been many times in my life where things got really close to the edge, and I was able to pull it back in. Bubba just goes a little further, and, it, and he gets kind of exposed, and it makes him look worse. But, dude, I think. Thank you, you know, Joe. Sniped from uh, Dana Rose. Oh, yeah. No, you can still finish, though, Blossy. Yeah, no, no, I, I, no, that's it. So, yeah, I would definitely say so Bubba you, just for that reason, but I'm able to pull it back in, and then Amanda here helps me to keep it reined in a little bit more. You identify, <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. Did you, you also get you, punched by Awesome Kong? I have not. Oh, I, That would be great. <laughs> oh, jeez. Any I sex mean, tapes coming out? Jesus. Not that Colton? I know of. Not that I know okay. of. Oh, geez, hey, I'm just gauging. We're just asking. Questions. You said you relate to Bubba the most. I'm on the better end of that where I'm actually making money. You know, okay. <laughs> not destroying my life. Well, in the long run, look what this has brought Bubba. Whoa. In the long run, look what this has brought him, though. <laughs> no, I totally agree. Here we are. <laughs> you know, I'm a little uncomfortable right now. Bubba's listening. I mean, I, I am ready to have him Kool-Aid in right now and just possibly uh, take uh, Blasi out and uh, Colton, too, with it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that in a bad way. Just have both like... of you guys by the, by the neck. And, uh, no, but we're yeah, saying Grace. that as Bella. we sit here talking in Bubba's studio on Bubba's microphone with Bubba Army all around, with Bubba screens in front of me, with Bubba equipment around me, using Bubba's infrastructures with Bubba's listeners. With Bubba Trust in me, chat. We made it with good intentions. <laughs> totally. 100%. Now, the whole Dr. Dan and Seth thing, we kind of talked about it, and uh, I know it was giving Dr. Dan a little bit of shit. Do you think Seth is going to go and play baseball with Dr. Dan, or do you think he'll get out of it? Oh, Seth's not going. Mm -mm. You don't think he's going to go? Seth's no. not going. No, as soon as Bubba gave the disclaimer on the air, I, I mean, yeah, it was I, a done man, deal. I feel bad for Dr. Dan then. 100 bucks on a glove. He got burnt. Better hope he catches. Uh... He said he spent more than $100 on a glove. Oh, my God. Fuck, I'll buy it for 20 bucks. He said, no shit, you'll buy it for 20 <laughs> Maybe he can sell back for half price to play it against sports. He said he spent over $100 for a brand new glove. And then he started telling me all these brands of gloves. And I'm like, yeah, Dr. Dan. He's like, I didn't know these were so expensive. Like, he's used to buy it. You know, so, what did Dan buy then? He bought a really, really nice. Uh, catcher's glove was it a refurb glove no it's it, a brand new one play it again sports they sell new stuff okay because i even said oh, dr dan i have a catcher's glove 
at my house. And he goes, oh, I didn't want one with dirty. I'm like, oh, God, are you kidding he me? he got to break that thing in, too. That's I don't know if they did him. that he, for him. He said, he said he's been doing that. Okay. Yeah, it, t- it takes a while. Like, he bought catcher gear, too, Bubba says. No, he didn't. He, well, Dan was Why? talking about wanting to buy catcher's gear, but then Seth and I heard him and Seth talking about it in the hallway, and Seth's like, I think you do need to like maybe have some shin guards or Fuck, like no, the only thing you need mask. is a mask. You don't need the guards. You don't need the chest plate. Well, you don't need a, the mask. You don't need a mask. That's not going to be zinging it in 95 miles I mean, an that's hour. Really the only, it's Dr. D. Dr. I would Dan like prefer for him cup. if he had the mask. A cup. For, for the sake of content, though, it'd be fucking hilarious if, if he, he rolled up with the full garb, oh, face okay. mask, shin guards, chest plate. Hopefully, Dr. Dan is in his full uh, Tarpons outfit. He does have a jersey. Uh, I I hope he wears a cup because... I mean, Catch that bounce. I don't see because the catcher's glove is definitely different with a pocket. So that thing hits, and Dr. Dan, I, um, uh, I'm not trying to be too mean, but Bub and I both said we saw Dr. Dan at the Tarpons practice. Is and Dr. Dan a baseball player? Dr. Dan is a doctor and a lawyer. He's good at riding, uh, you know, Lance Armstrong bikes. He is He is that. He is a guitar player. He can play guitar. We've seen him do Jimi Hendrix on stage. And I know he said he wanted to be a catcher when he was a kid. I, um, But I wouldn't test if Seth did try to throw it hard and it bounced in there that uh, Dr. Dan would block that before it uh, hit his dick. So I got a little insight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Dr. Dan would be going down. Now, by the way, unbelievable footage. I mean, if that gets on camera, that oh, would yeah. be awesome. But I'm just trying to. Well, I mean, I guess Dr. Dan's not having any more kids anyhow. So, but uh, what I, Dr. Dan is really looking for out of this, though, is he's wanting Seth to fucking zing it in there to where you hear the ball hit the mitt. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what he's looking for. He wants to hear that. Unless and he has, uh, unless I just don't know if it's going to happen. Pop sound on his phone. That's, that's what I was saying. Happen. You know he's going to have to like pipe in some noise or something because I don't see that happening. He has a better chance of having a pop noise coming from a normal glove than that. From his you, knees. You, <laughs> you think it's, uh, do you think it's all just a ruse to, to get himself included in the first pitch ceremony? Oh, for sure. That way he gets his name announced over the big speaker from the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Well, we have talked about, oh, Jesus. Oh, you mean he, Seth he, Kushner and Doctor Dan you mean, Diaco. You mean he, Doctor Dan wants to be the one to catch at the plate uh, during the first pitch? And not well, have at a, that point, I mean, I mean, might as well try to work that in too, right? See, I think that Doctor Dan is just trying to be involved in Seth's life. I think Doctor Dan's lonely. His oh. family is in Colombia. Wants a friend. And he wants a friend. Well, fuck, if he needs someone to ride around with this Ferrari and shit with him all weekend, I mean, dude, call me. <laughs> He's not jumping on your, your your tip there, Colin? No, I'm not. Yo, no, correct, no. I mean, he probably would pay for all your stuff if you did volunteer for yourself sure. for a weekend. Be like, Dr. Dan, I'll come over to your the carriage house. I'll hang out with you. We'll watch TV all watch weekend. Watch TV. I'll do, I'll do the yeah, grilling man. for you to watch the Formula One race and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me son. I can call you dad. I can get some sausage to bring. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, the sausage. The Fifo Tower. <laughs> I, I think Lummy's got a real good point, though, because, I mean, there were days, I'd say last week, week before, after Father's Day and stuff like that, where Seth would be like, you know, man, I really do feel bad for Dr. Dan. Like, his family, you know, going out of town for his birthday or not doing anything for Father's Day. They didn't get him anything. And he would say it two, three, four days in a row. And I have to imagine Dan heard it. So I think maybe this is the olive branch. You know, like he said, he's looking for a friend. And Seth said they talk and, about the show. Yeah. You know, Bubba said, you know, Dr. Dan's just trying to get on uh, Seth's tip. You know, he knows what, you know, what Seth does around here. Maybe Dr. Dan's even pushing for having his own podcast. Maybe doing oh. a Dan 198. Danny 198. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's like, hey, listen, I get in good with Seth. The next thing I know, I'm, you know, I got Dan, Danny 198. I, I have two podcasts going. Brian's up. Uh, <laughs> I still have all those drops. Isn't that and, funny? And I think also. Well, I, I got think, one more time. Here go. Danny 198. There you go. I think, I think Dr. Dan's a little jealous of the relationship that Babyface has with uh, Seth. I think because you got to remember, Dr. Dan. Bought baseball cards to have a card break. With yeah, Seth. and about that, um, <laughs> <laughs> that was Doctor Dan really trying to get himself involved into that. That's what I'm. What do you think he's yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm with you. That's what I'm saying. I'm and dancing it, with you. He's trying to take away Babyface's uh, real estate with Seth and trying to take that over. I would agree because Dan knows nothing about those cards. Nothing. No, nothing. So for him to buy and participate in opening them, <laughs> it's it's. It's much like me opening them, which is great. Okay, what do I do with them now? 
I know nothing about him. I guarantee you, Doctor Dan is now a huge basketball fan and a Wibanabi fan, and every you know he's going to start liking the White Sox, and he's going to study up on all that. You got Doctor Dan. He's just here to win, you know. Yeah. Listen. Next thing you know, Doctor Dan's probably has a a Chicago White Sox jersey that he's going to be wearing when Seth comes over today. (laughs) Now, Blossy, you said we give them to you. You're in the cards. No, I'm not a big giant card guy. What do you uh, collect? Oh man, uh, nothing really. Honestly, I'm, I'm not a collector of much. Am I, Amanda? Like, I, there's, there's not. I've got some now. I say this. I've got these cards from like the '80s, and I did find this Bo Jackson rookie card the other day that I happened to have when I was a kid. So I, I was into that when I was like really young. But I just kind of don't really get into it. None of the kids all have done the Pokemon stuff and all this other stuff. But I don't like collecting crap, dude. I like getting rid of crap. Okay, you know? I mean, we're di- completely different there because I have so much shit, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I do too. I need, I need to get rid of shit. So I'm in the getting rid of shit mode versus okay. collecting more shit. I got 100 golf clubs though, huh? Oh my god, at least. Yeah, okay, so you're, that's your hobby then, golfing? Yeah, it, it, it used to be. Now it's podcasting. Are you doing any yeah. golfing while you're down here? No, nah, I'm not playing golf. My back feels way too good now, man. I've started podcasting, quit playing golf. I feel good. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of Digging this jam. No, I still like golf. I just play like two or three times. You gotta be careful, man. You start getting used to podcasting, talking on the mic every single day. You notice you're not as active anymore. Start packing on the pounds. Next thing you know, your boxers are folding over. My my first year back here, I put on probably 25 pounds just because I fucking sit around all day. You gotta make make your own activities. Yeah, I still go to the gym a little bit, like not much, but like three days a week. You know, I still move. Still go. Gary Cantrell's in the chat. He's asking, "Have you ever thought about doing any voiceover work? Thinking you have a good voice." I would love to do some voiceover work. Somebody willing to pay me? I'd do it on heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say you're getting into the podcasting realm more, so I was just thinking, okay, well, maybe that's a, a way for you to get some more money and get some in the podcasting world is to do some voiceover. No, it stuff. would be. Marty Smith actually told me he was like, "Give me your number." He said, "I'm going to put you in touch with some people, and you can make a lot of money with that voice." And I was like, "Dude, Marty Smith, p- please do that." I never heard back from him, so mm. yeah, I don't know. I guess it didn't work. Marty didn't <laughs> want you to take away his gig. That's right. That's right. Because I mean, that's kind of Marty's gig. That is. That is his deal. I don't know anyone else that works at ESPN that has a. Southern accent like, like him? Cause yeah. He's from what, Arkansas? I think he's from like, uh, uh, no, no, up in the Appalachian area. Uh, you know what I mean? Like Virginia or, or somewhere, you know. It's that mountain talk. Yeah, you can't get that. You can't get that whole industry away because he's still young. Uh, was he 50? 40? No, 40, yeah. I think. Yeah, so yeah, mid, yeah, probably close to 50. And you're a little 50. bit better looking than him. Well, like, I appreciate that. I don't, uh, I don't yeah. know. He's got it, dude. His hair is so tight, though, dude. That's a, I mean, that's the tightest haircut I've seen ever. Because you know, Bubba was uh, talking about how good looking you are. He said you need to gain a little bit more weight. Seth, Seth even told Bubba he needs to put you in his b- boyfriend club. No, I mean uh-huh. that's. I did hear that talking about all the good looking people: Jimmy Cleveland, Doctor Dan, Blossy, the woman posse. So I think you might have made the cut of the good looking friends. That's unbelievable, I mean, man. I feel really, really you. honored. I mean, if you think about it, Seth said you're the best looking guy in the whole podcast world. Wow, That's, that that means a lot coming from Seth, you know. I mean, I don't know where Barney, little Barney, uh, goes when, but uh, I guess you would be the best looking guy in Take Bits by far. Someone in chat said he's a Diaco lookalike. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we, get, we got all Italian stuff going. Well, he could use the white fountain back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> the no, Diacos dude. weren't able to. Hey, right after nine eleven, my like I used to even be more tan like if during the summer dude i was getting pulled out of line every time that i flew it was crazy i was like this is nuts dude so oh, yeah, do is talk. yeah i know i know that's it since so open my mouth they're like nah never mind Keep going, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no nick we uh, we don't need you to to get us the hookup for uh, for dr dan uh bubba said that the next first pitch will be dr dan which but nick you did ask something in the rumble chat recently and i will take you up on that k5 thank you Okay, I'm glad you're making deals here, Colton. Uh, way to be a wedge on the show. Um, Always. The uh, so Alex, Are we going to talk about where I got my ice from, or is that a K5? Because I heard Bubba shut it down. K5? What, the, for, for oh. the coolers? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've said it before, I thought we already talked about it. We did, but then Lummy started bringing it up recently, and, and Bubba was like, Lummy! Right? Well, just because you stole all your ice? I didn't steal nothing. That's where you're wrong. I didn't steal shit. Yeah, it is free ice. It's free ice. It says for your coolers. Hey, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Every cooler. I I, I, <laughs> I am an advocate. I am an advocate for gatekeeping. If something is cool, I want to fucking be the one that gets to take advantage of it. I don't want to blow up my spot. No, that's a hundred. That's that true. way. Fifty other people are doing the same thing I'm doing when I got the you know the idea to do that's it. That's my problem right now is I'm not a good gatekeeper. Like I have that one app that that food app. It's called Too Good to Go. Um, people should download it. With that being said, you get food for half price from places. What's it called? Too good to go. Okay. Too good to go. Too good to go. And you order this fucking, I'm sorry, you get this app 
And like on the app, there'll be different things. For instance, there's uh, that mocha nut place by our house that sells fancy donuts. They're yeah. on the app. If you buy the donuts, you have to go pick it up between like, you know, 30 minutes before closing. But you get like $20 worth of donuts for five bucks. And Same just, thing with the crab oh, wow. spot and all the other places like that. Does now, it like the equivalent of a coupon app? It's the equivalent to this. Um, How do you right, find these places, of, Colin? You know, I mean, I'm always a wedge. I'm on the grind all the time. Um, this is what it is, right? At the end of the day, they're going to have to throw away their leftover food, right? Yeah. Well, instead yeah, of throwing it away, close. they sell it for fucking 75% cent off. 75 percent off. That's a CD market because I listen as a professional fat ass. I haven't heard about that <laughs> once. Dude. Yeah. And yeah. and I tell you this too, when you talk about value, it, there's nothing that makes me feel fatter than downloading you know a fast food app like the Taco Bell or the Chick Fil A app. Yep. But that's where all the value is. You get exclusives on there, and they'll give you free food. Everything is to the app. I remember I got like seven burritos from Taco Bell for eight dollars one time, which y- you of all people yeah. should know with how goddamn expensive Taco Bell is yeah. now. That was a steal. How that many, is good. How many points do you got on your uh, points? Uh, your oh, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is yeah. bad. Chick Fil. I'm not gonna lie. Chick Fil A is bad. It's really really bad. <laughs> no, you had your racket where you were taking all uh, Kevin Hazlett's points. Well, Kevin Hazlett would come in with his receipt and have three hundred dollars worth of food on there, and I would just scan the receipt to get the points. But the problem is, let's see here. My lifetime points is one hundred and sixteen thousand six eighty seven. One one six six eight seven. You get thirteen points for every dollar spent. So take that number. One one six. Six eight seven wow. divided by thirteen. Oh 13 fuck, grand. Dude. fourteen grand. What's that Chick Fil A fund look like? Almost nine grand. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and that's what shit. last three four years? Uh, a little longer than that. God, that's crazy. <sighs> but like, well, Lami, thank you for saving my ass on this one. Uh, a lot of those is Kevin Hazlett. Kevin Hazlett, attorney to the stars, would come in here and do the show yes. with Bubba and have you know a receipt with like two hundred dollars with a Chick Fil A on it. And I'd scan that motherfucker and be like, "There's three sandwiches for the week." <laughs> How upset were you when Bubba shut down that Chick Fil A? Uh, the sandwiches when he said told Kevin to stop bringing. Yeah, that, that, that like there was me a, off. we had twenty people here because not only did I get the points off it, then nobody would eat the sandwiches. So I had you know five sandwiches to bring home. Hey, Chick Fil A is healthier than pancakes every week. Yeah, I'm been missing those too. Let me cinnamon save pancakes. Me one. I know we take it a few weeks off. We had a good streak going. I think it was what three four weeks in a row. Doctor Dan still wants to do f- Pancake Fridays. He loves those things, doesn't they're he? Good sure as fuck. Does. Have you had them? Blasey? They look no. They, they look deadly though. They're yeah. pretty oh, good. God. Yeah, yeah they're, they're really good. good especially the, when you get them hot. But you guys said the one I did not get to try. Uh, Merch Crick and Maria Guatemalans. With that video was on our YouTube. The Bubba yeah. Army. Uh, those ones were even better. You guys said. Yeah. They yeah. Were, you they didn't were, even they need the syrup for those. They were so good. Oh, wow. Let's go eight four three. Hey guys, how we doing this fine glorious morning? What's up, Big Buck? Hey, how are you? How you doing, Lummy? Good. So you ready? You ready to bring the uh, information for Bubba for Eklund? Yeah, printing everything out and getting everything organized right now. <laughs> so we fly in tonight, and then uh, tomorrow before the game, we'll pre uh, uh, pre pre game at um, the Hyatt House. Oh, okay. okay. So is that the meetup? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's the meetup, oh. and then we'll run we'll run over there. What time? So, um, I think it's going to, uh, I think pregame is going to be like around two, three, four, somewhere around there. Oh, shit. And then Started we'll leave early. the hotel and then scoot on over so to the. So, you guys going to have a good three, four hours of drinking. There you go. <laughs> and for those that don't know, the Hyatt House to the stadium is probably about. Five minutes. Yep. I was going to say. A mile and a half. A mile and a half. Oh, max two miles. Yeah, maybe. If you, maybe. If you don't get stopped at all those damn lights, it should be about five minutes. Yeah. Nope. And if you've been yeah. drinking since two o'clock at the Hyatt House, uh, maybe get an Uber. Oh yeah, we're definitely Uber and over. I that think w- me, Big E, and and everybody else uh, uh, that are drinking are going to be Ubering. So and you'll meet we Rhett and I. We'll be in the parking lot of of the Legends Field. That's the Legends Field, right? Uh, GMS Field, George M. Steinbrenner, yeah. but some people know it as Legends. Okay. Anyways, we'll be in the parking lot, Rhett and I. You'll see us in a perfect circle, uh, passing something around to the left, typically. Smoke all over. Um, so you. if you want to join us for that, we'll be there about five forty-five. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, we we should be easing that way about five o'clock. I'm, I want to get in there and, and set up and and then uh, uh, watch Seth's uh, first throw out. Yeah, Seth Seth has to report for the first pitch at six oh five, and we're thinking that should be thrown around six fifteen, six twenty. Yeah, yes. yeah, I think six fifteen, six twenty. So by six oh five, people should be shuffling in. I think too. And Bob Cook said, "Don't bring any coolers, uh, Big Buck." Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I always got my cooler with me. <laughs> yeah, don't, we don't get us kicked out of GMS. No, no, I won't do that. Uh, no, there's n- nothing there that we can kick us out. All right, perfect. Well, well hopefully. Exactly. <laughs> All right, big buck. We'll All see right, you tomorrow. Later, guys. See, you, uh, see you tomorrow. So it sounds like the pregame for the Bub Army is at the Hyatt House. 
Yes, it is. 318. What is happening? It's Tig. Oh, Tig coming go. in here. Hey, it's little Barney. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think you're, you're going to go a whole day and not hear this beautiful voice as well? I mean, come on. Now, bro. what did you think of your uh, new nickname or new name, I should say, from Bubba? Look, man, I'm just happy to be on Bubba's radar. I'm going to be a mark out for that for a minute, but I find it fucking stupid, number one. <laughs> It goes along with it. Look, I mean, if you want to call an LSU guy, Barney, sure. It's been had. It's kind of like calling an LSU fan a corn dog or something like that. Yeah, it's cool. I may show up to barp in a damn Barney costume. I mean, that don't put it past me. You, you know, should. I mean, don't don't think for one moment that I won't embrace it and run with it. Paint you your should. face purple. <laughs> no, that's I the mean, best way to do it with Bubba, Bubba Army. So <laughs> Just embrace that's it, it, baby. Let's roll. Let's why why roll. did you why 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 didn't you make it down for the baseball game, Barney? Well, it's a fair question. It's a great question. Uh my child. Oh. And we have stuff doing this summer and getting ready for football camps and things like that and in fact, uh, they're just off to the water park, and I told them to go on. I'll meet you there in a minute. I have business to attend to. <laughs> the one-man posse is taking over the well, studio now, with y'all. Now, but he uh, has talked a lot. That's been a problem. No, well, man, you don't come in here and start taking over. Tell a little bit no, more. I'm fine. That's my first time. silent, a little muted. Dude, it's, hey, look, I came in here. I, I, it's not like I've come here to take over. I'm just trying to, like, interweave myself into the fabric here, right? You know, I'm not coming yeah, he's to like, out, become listen, the he's star a, of the show. I'm not that. He's on vacation. I'm just chilling, man. Just hey, enjoying he's, he's it. In, you're in chill mode. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've even crashed you're there. You're in chill mode. The, I, I will say it's extremely tough. Um getting in especially you think going in you might have an agenda i want to get in there i'm going to get some words in once you get in these four walls and bubba's live and you're on the air with bubba it's tough it's tough no, working I, your way in oh i know it is there, there's no doubt i really i think you did a great job lacy because you know what you did lacy winkler you stayed out of the damn way you didn't try to put yourself into anything you just kind of let it happen, which you, I think is really beautiful. Money. But I'm going to give you shit. Oh, yeah. Now, the only dumb thing I did was let, was let the door slam. So, yeah. Yeah, come on. Tell me. I know. That's stupid. Now, Corn Dog Barney. Um, <laughs> you, that's what, that, by the way, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what Bubba, you know, <laughs> Bubba named you Corn Dog Barney. Tiggs Bits, and you can find them Tiggs, T I G S Bits, B I T S, TiggsBits.com. Now, it. it was your fault that we were Thank not wearing your Tig Bit church, correct? Is that correct? Now that's a, now that's a little misnomer. I did hear that, and kind of you know. All right, let's blame it on the guy who ordered the shirts. Number one, all right. So time. it goes through. Hey, it I just ordered from where you tell me to order Look, from. We don't we don't have them in stock. It's just ordered. Homeboy decides last minute. Hey, I think I'm going to go to this Tarpons game. Oh shit. I need to take them some merch. Of course you need to take them some merch, but it's going to be tough to get that delivered in five days, Blasey. So he didn't pay for priority, which would oh, have Oh, I didn't know there was a priority option. Been there. I would have paid that at a heartbeat. Damn right there is. Oh, you man. also could have just had it delivered to the studio. But, yeah, uh, that's right. an, you wow. know, you didn't talk to us about this. So, you know, there you go, boys. Well, if there was a the, – the, He did it on his own. He's the one-man posse. That's right. That's now, right. Now, Fair corn enough. Dog Blasey <laughs> – uh, I'm sorry, Corn Dog – you're kind of sitting up there around uh, all the merch, I guess. You, I mean, you could have shipped it down, and we could have been wearing it to the uh, the game tomorrow. You're exactly right. Well, that would. Well, I mean, I'm not at the Printify offices, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they. Uh, and I will say, you have one thing. Right. I mean, we just bought, we botched the deal. I mean, there's no <laughs> two ways about it. Well, Bubba I says Blossy gets the pass because yep. his girl, his uh, fiance, is hot. So, so that you're up against that. You know, Blossy brought his girl down, and and she's hot as hell, quite frankly. And that's what Bubba's saying here. He gets a pass for it. Uh, so you're kind of on the hot seat. I'm yeah, sorry about that. You, buddy. <laughs> I, I, it's okay. Hey, look, this is what I've done my entire life. I've stayed on the damn hot seat, and I'm okay with it because you know what I do? I thrive in these situations. And I can't wait to meet all of y'all, really and truly. I can't. It's going to be so much fun. Is that so, when we're getting our T-shirts? Hope. <laughs> yes. Uh, y'all may get them before then. Maybe. Uh, no, y'all will have them before then, dude, oh, yeah. for sure. We'll get them here. But yeah, I know. I got a lot. <laughs> the odds are against me with Bubba. And I'm fully aware of this, you know, but I'm going to do my best to make it right. That's all I can do. Oh, yeah. That's all we can expect. I mean, yes, we, we can't <laughs> yeah. wait to meet you at the bar p- party. Um, 
Bussy, you didn't come last year, right, to the bar party? You on the work site right now? Where the I hell? Did yeah, not, yeah, yeah. What's going yeah, on? No, I, I thought you were at the. What is that? Uh, no, no. I, 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 I've never been to bar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me let me step inside. I'm outside. Oh, is that you? Oh. Yes. I don't know. I did, I just heard that too. What the hell's happening? Bubba's in chat. Says corn dog Barney is gay for Chip Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Kelly. Bubba, but I don't want to correct even the right. you. I don't so want to get said, any further. It's, it's the South trouble. Bend leftovers. It's the South Bend leftovers. <laughs> hey, we'll. To be determined. To well, be determined, listen. But. When Brian Kelly and LSU, if you want to go, I mean that that recruiting tool with the little yeah. pitcher thing, that yeah. was probably one of the most ridiculous. Yeah, you can't even sit here and pretend to defend the the, the 360 camera. And then at the basketball game, the fake Southern accent. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank my family and Uh, all the support we've been getting. Hold on, looks like we got another Tiggs bit. We got another Tiggs bits guy in the chat. Jared, the handler, saying Tiggs does a great Bubba impression. Is this true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, sometimes I look. If, if Bubba's listening to me right now, let me. I can't be doing this. It's just, I can't do this right now. Is this the Nash but, Brothers? I don't. Think, <laughs> it, I'm working on it. It's not there. Actually, yet. he's got it's a. He, he can morph his face into Bubba. Like I can take pictures and like that, it's unbelievable. Looks, looks like Bubba sitting there. It's that wild. one was actually a little uncanny when I saw that video. Yeah. I, I saw you posted it either on Twitter or Instagram or something. I'd seen that. Now you need to check that out. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know if Bubba's seen yeah, that one, re- but we're gonna have to get that. It, it, it is a little crazy. Yeah, it's also helped me to uh, – it made me realize that i got to get in the damn gym. So, uh, Whoa, I what's have. that supposed to be? <laughs> what's that? So you, so you say you look like Bubba, you got to get into the gym? negative about Bubba. It was the side profile of my triple chins. It did not make me Bubba doesn't have triple chins? Oh, man. You're part just, of the gig, oh, man, is – Bubba's got single chin, I've never great seen cast. a side profile. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, part of the gig is when everything you say gets broken down. So you just got to learn to <laughs> – <laughs> Gotta learn to dance. <laughs> and so, hey, I can I can tango, baby. I love it. I love that. That's uh, that's what makes y'all so fun, dude. Is you break down every single thing, and you have to. I mean, that's what keeps the content flowing. Y'all do a great job, Colton and Rhett. First time I've got to talk to both of you cats, and uh, I love you guys, man. Y'all are, y'all are awesome. Appreciate it, man. Good hearing from you. Nice talking with you. Yeah, TigsBits, TigsBits.com. They're also, you know, obviously on Bub Army HQ, uh, all the podcasting stuff. Their latest one uh, with Brad Johnson. Yeah, just up now. It's up now, so you can go and download it. Big Bad Brad. Big Bad Brad. He talked to you all about the trick shots he does. Oh, yeah, man. (laughs) Did you ask him why his kid left uh, uh, LSU? Oh, we didn't get into We it. didn't really talk we, about that because we, we go on LSU, go yeah, on Texas we, A&M. Now he's at UNC, and yeah. he feel like he's in a good spot now. So. Well, when he was on, uh, when he was on our show, uh, he was at his kid was at LSU, and he he was thinking, oh, okay. yeah, he was he was starting out. I think he was a freshman at that time. And uh, was I that guess, before that damn ball coach got there? Yes, it was. Oh, it was before uh, Chip <laughs> Kelly got there. <laughs> So, but no, I mean, Brad Johnson just seems like kind of a down to earth kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, dude, he was great. No doubt. He was awesome. We had a lot of fun, and we're trying to break that cornhole world record soon. I think we may get him to come down and help us break that uh, the longest cornhole toss. What is the record? What is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to try to break the world record on the longest cornhole toss. Are you going to get the Guinness Book of World Records and everybody involved too? And See, make no, this official? We're, I, no, we're going to be the adjudicator. Like it's going to be a Tiggs bit official world record, okay? Not a not a Guinness <laughs> yeah, yeah. world record. And yeah, so, we're not going to have the guy in the uh, in the in the suit, or the tuxedo, the penguin suit there. Uh, to, I may be, I may I may bring but, in Brother Gary from Op Alabama to come in to be like the person to tell this is actually ninety feet, and yes, this guy actually made it. You yeah, know what I don't mean? think you, with with video now. I don't even know if you need the. I, I mean, you know, that's if, the way I feel about video, it. Then you don't need the. Guinness I'll video measuring it out. I'll, yeah. I'll mark the spots. Here it is. That's the longest is ninety feet. Yeah, it's right. It's like eighty-seven right now, eighty-six, and I've got a trophy already made for ninety. Uh, so. <laughs> I like the fucking confidence. I already got the trophy made, bitch. I just got to do it. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> what are you gonna do when you go over ninety? Well, no, we'll just do it at ninety, and then we'll break it again. Yeah, down the road, you know. Oh, okay. Let's see. He showed that to. Uh, we we started talking about that with Brad, and then <laughs> he just saw his eyes light up. Like I gotta go, boys. It's time to get. I'm done talking to y'all. I'm about to go do this in my backyard and make a video. So I, I have a feeling that that Brad's going to take this and run, and by next week we may have a Brad Johnson, Big Bad Brad TikTok of him doing this. Wow. <laughs> and we'll send him the damn trophy and make another one. <laughs> I think we need Mike getting involved here, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think we, y'all we do. We can set it up here. we got to get 92, 92 feet. They say 87 feet. 
is yeah. the record. I feel like 87 feet doesn't sound like that much until you're 87 feet away from the board. That is very true. Do you have the power to consistently? It's a toss. Yeah. It's a toss. And I've toss I and practiced half. it Boys, it's a toss. Like, like 10 times into a slight headwind. And it, you know, by maintaining some sort of form, it took almost everything that I had to get it there. You know what I mean? Like, literally, yep. as hard as I could throw it underhanded. Mm. After that, you're just kind of heaving it. Like, you know what I mean? It's not yeah. even a it, – it, it's it's a lot to get there. But it can be done. Well, there's a will, wait. there's a way. It's yeah. going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, we can't wait to watch it. I mean, you already got the trophy, so. You got the trophy. I know. I just got to get yeah. Brantley to get off his butt and drive over and JR to come <laughs> over so we can all do this from a live stream. There's a wrestling match at Props on July the 13th. I'd love to do it then. They're going to have wrestling un- underneath I'm the plane, kidding. and we could be doing breaking a Guinness World Worker record off to the side. <laughs> I mean, Blasey, I just come on, official Cordell. announcement here on the after show. I'm coming on July 13th, period. So oh. <laughs> here we go. We may be involved in the wrestling somehow, but I will be there. I will be there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, perfect. Very good. Hell Barney. yeah. Well, Barney, All right, boys, appreciate I'm you going to flip out. I'm going to let y'all, y'all are in good hands with Blasey, the one man posse. Appreciate you guys. And anything else you need? All of you. Anything you need to plug? You know, Twitters, um, anything, podcasting. Hey man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug it. Yeah, would love for everybody to go go to our YouTube. Follow us at Tigbits Podcast. Uh, you can follow us on all of our socials, and just go to tigbits.com, and everything is there, man. And we we can't appreciate appreciate you all enough, Bubba Army. Thank you all so much, and Lacey. Have yep. some fun, brother. All right, brother, I will. Yeah, and then coming, starting in July, we've got our television show right now, television.com. That's um, right. And it'll also be on uh, 30 different um, television stations across the country. So that's going to be super cool. Oh, nice. TV and and, yeah, and uh, yeah. Corndog, uh, where can you get that uh, merchandise? Do you have a merchandise site or you anything? Can, you, can, you can get that at tigbit.com or just go straight to our Etsy store. That's where we're at right now. Let me don't make fun of it. But uh, no, you can go straight to our Etsy store to take that show. No, I'm and, on there uh, now. I see everything. You got cups, coffee mugs, long sleeve, short sleeve, uh, can holders, hats. Y'all got a lot of shit on there. Check it out. Tigsbits.com. Yeah, man. Yeah, go check it out. Give us, support us. Help us out. We need to get Blasey a new MacBook Air so that we can get his professional rig set up a little bit better. So, yeah, we appreciate it. Perfect. <laughs> All right, Barney. P- appreciate it. See you, brother. Yeah. See y'all. Barney, wow. forever known as Barney. Oh, well, now Corn Dog Barney. I do like the purple branding. I do too. As far as the logo goes, purple yellow, it looks sharp. I think it it's does. unique. It's very neat. Now with the Tix bits, um, are you guys all three in separate locations? Then we are. Okay, and who's like central? Uh, like if you guys had to meet on emergency notice, who's 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 centralized? That's that's going to be over in uh, Orange Beach. Okay. Yep, that's where Jr. is. And oh, he's got a reach. really nice – he's got a studio, like, he, he could have it this pimped out if he wanted to. He's got a pretty cool studio already. It's really big. It's a big barn in his backyard. It's nice. Yeah, it's it's super nice. Nice. So, yeah, we could do some really cool stuff there at some point, and I'm sure we will. Very nice. Well, Blasi, I appreciate you coming in. Man, appreciate you having me, man. This has been a heck of an experience. You know, it's a little bit – it's surreal. I was kind of in shock when I came in and sat down. You know, it's like I wasn't scared as much as I was just like – this is insane. I, of course, you can't see Bubba. And nope. I was like, I hear him. He's got to be back about there. All this? He's got to be back there somewhere. Did you hear, any feet, stamp, you hear any feet stamps today? No, I don't think I heard any feet stamps no. either. So sometimes you'll, sometimes oh, yeah. you'll get that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. It's kind of crazy though. Yeah, <laughs> super cool. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and you, I'm sorry. You said your thoughts going in was you weren't really scared. Just kind of... Yeah, just like a like somebody dropped like a flash grenade or something. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like all this stuff happening around me. I was like, I can't even see him. What, what, what is all this behind me? I was just overwhelmed. It's just a lot. You know, it's a lot of stimulus. And now in that here. you've been through it, is there anything uh, that you wish you would have done different today? No, man, I mean, I don't think so. I, I, I again, I was telling him last night we did a live stream. I was like, I don't. He said, What's your agenda? What are you going to do? I have, I have zero agenda. I was like, That would be foolish to walk in there thinking I've got some agenda. Order uh, other than wanting to give that sausage away. I just brought sausage as a gift. That was <laughs> it, man. Your sausage. <laughs> Thank you for showing your sausage to Colin. Yeah, and uh, do you remember the names Bubba gave you today? Oh yeah, I am Blossy, the one man Posse Winkler uh, Row. There you go. I mean, I believe that's it. Hey, Blossy Row, Blossy uh, Winkler, and uh, oh, Nick. oh yeah, I forgot about uh, John Travolta. John Travolta, exactly. yeah, Travolta. Rhett Ooh. Colton, nothing. I'll see you guys at Tampa Tarpons game. Uh, shout out Tigs Bits for being in. Obviously, TigsBits dot com uh, and D Bubble Army for all things. We need some monies. Yes. Uh, 
over the weekend. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, all at the Bubba Army. And you know what? Get your shoes. July 1st is the cutoff on the Bubba 2s, the red and black, and the red, white, and green. And all your Bubba Army merchandise, go to Bubba Army Shop, Bubba Army Merch, BubbaArmyStore.com. Rhett, thank you. Thank you, Lummy. Uh, rock show tonight. Rumble.com forward slash Bubba Army. And uh, hopefully we get to see all you guys out there at the Tarpons game tomorrow, 6.30. And we the tickets are still available. Tarpons.BubbaArmyHQ.com. Thank you, TickBits again. TickBits.com. Thank Everyone, you, guys. See y'all. Everyone have a great weekend. Previously. Previously.